everyone, it's Jenna Maria from Amateur Kitchen, and we have a very special episode for you all today. Maria, tell everyone what we're doing. I will. Today we are doing the Valveda Treasure Choice Challenge. I cannot say that. That is a tongue twister. You're probably thinking, what the heck is the Velveeta Treasure Chest Challenge? Well, first off, we want to thank Velveeta for sponsoring this episode. And what the challenge is, is they mailed us a box. The magic box of mystery. We don't know what's in it. And you don't know what's in it. So, we're going to open it together, and we're going to see what kind of ingredients they sent us, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. Are you nervous? I'm thinking at least Velveeta cheese, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. It's a treasure chest. I think there's gold inside. Maybe even liquid gold, kind of like Velveeta cheese. Maybe. I don't know. Should yeah, we open we it? Open it. All right. Here's our open next it. reveal. Open it. So what do we have, Maria? We have Mexicorn. Mexicorn. We have rice. Rice. You like rice? I love rice. And we have Velveeta cheese. Velveeta cheese. Oh my goodness. We have three ingredients and we have to make a meal out of it now. Okay. How are we going to do that, Mom? Well, we got to start thinking. What are you thinking? I have no idea. Well, let's see here. I think I have an idea. Ooh, tell me. Okay, so I grew up, both of us obviously, we live in Chicago, but I grew up in South Dakota, so it's still the Midwest. And you know what we love making in the Midwest? What? Our casserole dishes. So I'm thinking kind of a cheesy chicken. Cheesy? And rice. Rice? Casserole. And we'll mix in some of the Mexicorn, some more fresh veggies. Uh, we'll make kind of a cream sauce and then we'll bake it in the oven. Does that sound good? Oh, that sounds awesome. And we'll kind of do kind of a Tex-Mex style because we have the Mexicorn. So maybe some jalapenos. Nothing too spicy. Okay, good. Yeah. But you'll we'll see what that turns out. You could do spicy if you want. So, all right, Maria, now what? Let's get started. We gotta get going to the store first before we get started. Oh yeah. I don't have chicken right now, so let's go. Come on, lead the way. So we're back from the store. Mom, tell everybody all the ingredients that you got for our recipe. All right, so we got a couple tomatoes. That'll be more for garnish at the end, so it's pretty. Same with our cilantro. And we got some jalapenos to kind of keep with that Tex-Mex theme. Red and green peppers, some onion, garlic, and we're gonna sprinkle a little cumin on our chicken. We got chicken tenderloins. I like using the chicken tenderloins because the kiddos kind of like the chicken tenderloins a little bit better. It's not this big like wad of chicken breast, right? Yeah, so since it's the tenderloins, can we eat it with our hands? No, you can't eat it with your hands, Maria. The squirrel eats everything with their hands. That'd be like, you can't. Fork, <laughs> fork. Okay. Four. Now it's time to prep and then Maria's going to take you over to the stove and show you exactly how to cook it all. Over medium high heat 
And now I'm just going to drizzle in some olive oil. And next I'm going to add in my onions and let them cook until they're translucent. The onions are looking great. Now I'm going to add in my green and red peppers. Here comes the exciting part. Now we get to add in the Velveeta cheese and we get to watch it melt. So I'm just gonna pour in my diced cheese. Along with a little bit of milk. To finish off our cheesy sauce, I'm going to add in some jalapenos. And I'm going to also add in some Mexicorn. It looks so creamy and colorful. So our cheesy mixture is all done cooking. Our rice has par cooked, right? Partially cooked. Exactly. And we're just gonna add it to the cheese mixture. Now there is a little bit of water in there, right? Because we didn't cook it all the way, which is fine. Yes, lots of steam. You can get a facial. <laughs> so by leaving the water in it, you're actually gonna allow for it not to get too thick, too fast, because you don't want like super thick casserole. And the water will still be absorbed by the rice while it's cooking in the um, oven, right? Uh, yeah. Doesn't this look delicious? It looks awesome. I know, I can't wait to try it. All right, so put our casserole dish up here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of our rice, and our Velveeta cheese, and our veggies. That looks super good. It looks so good. See, can't you even hear the dogs? They're super excited about it too. <laughs> Next I'm going to add on our seasoned chicken tenders. Yeah, so go ahead and just take one. Put it down. Put it on top. Yep. Is it all good? Yes, it looks awesome. It looks amazing. So what we're going to do now is, actually, here's my little tip real quick. I love giving you guys tips anytime I can. <laughs> you can actually cook this to right at this point, cover it up, and pop it in the fridge. The night before, the morning of, before a party, whatever. And then when you're ready to eat, or just about ready to eat, you come home from work or school or whatever you do, Take it out of the fridge, then preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Once it's preheated, then you'll bake it for probably about 25 minutes, maybe 30, just until the chicken tenders are nice and uh, cooked through, white, and the rice is perfect as well. So there's my little tip. So it's kind of a make ahead, but we're not making it ahead because we're starving. We're ready to eat. Yes. This amazing casserole dish with Velveeta cheese, all right? Yep. Let's head over the stove. Our casserole is looking great. It does. Amazing. Yes. Now just to top it all off, I'm going to add on some garnishes. First we're going to add on some tomatoes. Yeah, and the tomatoes will just kind of brighten it up a little bit, freshen it up. And I'm going to also add in some cilantro. So you can either tear it like I am, or you can cut it. Either way. So just make it. Now all we have to do is try it. We can't wait. All right, ready? Yes. All right. This is the only chicken I would eat without ketchup. She eats chicken with ketchup all the time. So you yeah. like it? I love it. Let me tell you what, the first thing that comes out when I taste this the is, cheese. is the Velveeta cheese. The creaminess of that liquid gold makes this dish. But the seasoned of the chicken with the little cumin and the Tex-Mex approach we took with the rice. Yes, right? it tastes awesome. The jalapenos, the rice is cooked perfect. Fun. Did you have a good time, Maria, doing the Velveeta Treasure chest challenge. <laughs> she can never get that right, but yes, I loved it. I did too. I thought it was great. They gave us a few ingredients. We kind of put our little Midwest flair into it. 
So we hope you guys all enjoy it. You know, Velveeta.com also has tons of other recipes that you can go on their website for free to check out more recipes with their amazing cheese. Along with this awesome one, you gotta try it. We're gonna finish enjoying it. We hope you love it. We loved it. And we'll see you guys later, okay? Bye. Bye.